Hi guys, it's Dita. Welcome back to my channel. And it is the close of yet another month, which I cannot believe. And so it's time to do a favorites video. I don't really have much more of a preamble, so I think I'm just going to hop right in. My last favorites video, if you, gosh, it was a complete disaster and it was almost 30 minutes long. So I'm gonna try not to let that happen because I actually have more things to talk about, I think, this time. So. Anyway, if you would like to see what I was loving for the month of October, then stick around. So the first category is the handbag and handbag accessories category. And the first handbag I'm not going to talk too much about because it was my favorite in last month's video. And so if you want to know more about it, you can look at that one. If you do want a more formal review of this bag and um, a clean showing of this bag because there was a bunch of junk in the bottom, of this bag when I showed it in the last video, then let me know and I'd be happy to do a separate bag review because this bag is bomb. I love it. And the bag I'm talking about is this little satchel from Luana, Italy, and it's their Paley tote, their Paley mini tote. There is one size bigger and I just love it. Um, I was recently on vacation this month and I, this is the bag that I took with me and I used it the whole trip and it was just perfect. Perfect size, perfect shape. It was great, I love this bag. And um, I still am wearing it with the Rebecca Minkoff snake embossed uh, guitar strap. So yeah, this is favorite number one in this category. The second bag in this category, well the second item in this category is a bag and I believe I've talked, I'm sure I've talked about this bag before it is a bucket bag and it is this gorgeous specimen. Ugh, I just, I mean, I could look at it. It's just so simple and sleek. You know, it's not adorned in hardware, which I don't mind. I love hardware, but I just love the simple, sleek nature of this bag. It is perfect. I love this thing. This, Easily, easily one of my top five bags in my entire wardrobe. Oh, I love this so much. I almost want to get a second one in case this one finally dies. But it is hard wearing. Um, and I have, if I've not introduced what it is, I think that I have, but I'll just say it again. This is by, the it's the brand The Stow, and it's the Brady Bucket Bag. And um, it has um, this strap, this adjustable strap that can be worn. You can wear this as a shoulder bag. Oops. And you can also wear a crossbody. I do both. And, um, it is on the longest setting right now. And when I wear it crossbody, it tends to sit up a little higher. There's going to be a video or it may already have gone up with me showing this wearing with me showing wearing this bag crossbody. So, um, you can keep an eye out for that, but this thing is perfection. It is, I mean, it's big enough to hold everything, but not so big that it is a pain to carry. I have the Mansur Gabriel bucket bag, the large one, which I wanted desperately. And um, I do not think that there was a smaller size out at that time yet when I got that bag. And I find myself not reaching for it much anymore because I just, it's just too big for what I need. And um, so this is just perfect. I love it. I love the braided detail. I hope it's focusing on that. Yeah, this braided detail. I love the leather caps on the ends of the um, of the drawstring. Is it the yeah of the drawstring? And I I love the um, I just love all of the leather detail and just the bits of hardware that they have are just so. This is just a very well thought out bag. Um, the hardware is brushed gold. I was just looking, it says that it's made in Canada. Let me see if I can show you. Is that focusing? Yeah, the stow, and it's made in Canada. So anyway, this is what it looks like from the front and the side, and this is what it looks like from the back. Um, and again, it has, um, the, the strap is directly attached to the bag. There's, it's not a D-ring, um, and the hardware here is black. I really like that. I just like the minimal hardware on this. And then it's got the aged gold hardware on the, um, on the shoulder strap. And then inside, this is a bag that I'm currently using, so it is full 
to the brim. It's so full. Um, but one day I did discover, where is it? Cause I never use it. That it has, it does have this slip pocket, which I'm, you know, can be super handy for some people. I don't need it. Um, if you aren't careful because this bag is so accommodating, this can become a bit of a never ending pit. <laughs> it's really big, but oh, I just love it. Everything about it. There are no feet on the bottom. It's just so sleek. It is such a great bag. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. Love this bag. <laughs> okay, so I only have one favorite in the shoes category. Um, and the shoes I'm going to show you are one of two shoes that if I could only wear two styles of shoes for the rest of my life, um, this would be one of those styles. And so my favorite shoes for October, they're actually booties, are these stunners. These are the Chloe Susanna boots in white with the silver hardware. And I'll put one down. So I can show you, I, these boots, the Chloe Susanna boots and the Gucci Princetown mules to me are the best shoes on the market. I don't know if it's because they suit my foot, you know, the shape of my foot, which is wide and has no arch. They are unbelievably comfortable. This Chloe Susanna boots are really, really comfortable. They are spendy, um, but I wear these into the ground and then I take them in to be resold and I mean I'm just gonna run these until they're the leather is falling off of my foot it's a spectacular booty let me see if I can get it in closer so you can see the detail look at that oh my god I mean honestly I love it so much and I love the this um the hardware here the hardware um on the heel and the zipper and the studding always match I'm pretty, at least on mine, they always match. And I think that's the way they all are. Um, this, I always scuff the insides of my shoes and you know, you can't tell them the darker ones, but you can see them and on light shoes, it always leaves a mark. So I'm gonna have to take this to my cobbler and see if he can buff this out. So ridiculous. <laughs> These are incredible. I love them. <sighs> I love them. <laughs> so in the clothing category, I only have one item to talk about again, but I love this. It is this stunner from And Other Stories. This was the first thing that I've ever gotten from that brand. It's a British brand and I am impressed. I'm so impressed that I've purchased a couple of other items that I really like. I love that clothier. Um, but look at the color. I, I love this dress so much that I got my nails done with this dress as an inspiration. Can you see that? I hope it's focusing on that. And here's the other hand. See that? So yeah, I love that. <laughs> That's how much I love this dress. It's so beautiful. I love the ruffling all the way down the front. I just love the somewhat sheer sleeve, which you can't tell in this video, but it's it's not see-through, but it's just a little sheer. And the other thing that I love is, see if I can, if you'll notice, see that striping? So it's almost like, it almost looks wet. It's this ribbon of almost maybe clear striping, so it doesn't obscure any of the coloring, but you can tell that it is um, that it's present and it goes down the entire length of the dress. And she copied that in this nail. Let's see if I can show it. She copied that in this nail. You see that? My nail lady, I'm gonna do a video about geniuses in the fashion and um, makeup industry in my town so that if anybody ever visits or for people who watch me who live here, if you ever want to be inspired or find some brilliant pieces or have your face beaten to a pulp, you should check these places out. But that's going to be a totally separate video. Um, anyway, this dress is fantastic. I It comes down to between my calf and my ankle. So 
maybe a little too short for midi a little too no a little too long for midi a little too short for maxi um, but i will either insert um, a photo of me wearing this or um, or a little video clip but i just adore this and this is what it looks like on the bottom <laughs> it's so long i love this dress and it is so comfortable so i would highly highly recommend this sometimes people ask me my size so i got this in a size 10 and it fits very nicely it's belted so you can um you can where is the other one here it is you can um pull the drawstring and cinch it more at the waist or you can just wear it completely undone and loose so that it's a little baggier um and a little bit more oversized so it's just a great dress so i also love the fact that you can i've worn it buttoned all the way up to the top and i've worn it with um a few of the buttons open <sighs> this dress is spectacular <laughs> oh, yeah love it <laughs> okay the next category is jewelry and i'm going to cheat a little bit because i'm going to talk about an entire collection um, i have a few pieces from the Canto collection from one of my absolute favorite jewelry designers called Betsy and Aya that I know that I've talked about before. And um, she just put out a new collection that is mesmerizing. I absolutely love it. And the thing I love about her is that she gets her inspiration, well, I guess um, most artists and creatives get their inspiration from what's around them. And this particular collection is she has that it's inspired by rhythm and movement made to dance and this is the let's see if i'll show up this is the page isn't that so cool she's local but she does have um everything that's in store is online all her designs are online and i have said it before i encourage people to go have a look the woman is genius i am not sponsored i don't even think they know that i have a youtube channel but i just talk about her and them because it's just it's just fantastic it's such spectacular design i was talking without recording and i didn't realize i wasn't recording until my camera went into sleep mode i swear to anyway i believe what i said in this section was um that i'm just gonna read a little bit more of betsy's inspiration off of the website and it said for this collection and it says inspired by betsy's experiences in vibrant mexico city the pieces embody rhythm and movement they're made for dancing for embracing sensuality and living life to the fullest i mean i just think that that is a gorgeous sentiment and i think that this line is just as gorgeous so the first thing i want to show you are a pair of earrings and i'll have clips of me wearing all of these and these are they these are the Caderas earrings and they're these gorgeous dome shaped earrings that I absolutely love and she she did these both in the brass and a brushed silver and I love the brass um, you can see I don't know if oxidize is the right word but you can see that on the back see that darkening there so there are these wipes that she has in store and I have one um, and this just wipes completely off and so you, it'll get the shine back so um don't be alarmed by that but i actually like the kind of um beaten up used look so i'll actually let them go a little bit before i shine them back up but just so you know that that's a possibility i'd love this even just this little cut out detail at the top you know it's just it's just these little details that she includes in her jewelry that just makes them it just elevates them. I love this. So these are the Caderas earrings. Very lightweight. So comfortable. Easy to wear all day. And the second earrings are the Ocaso hoop earrings. And they are these here. For some reason, they remind me of the sunset. Like a sunrise or a sunset. I don't know why. These are awesome. Very, very lightweight. These are in the brushed silver. Very comfortable. And I actually also have them in the brushed gold. I haven't worn them in the gold yet. I've worn the silver ones quite a lot, um, but I will bust these out soon. And the silver is, all her silver now is uh, sterling silver. The last pair of earrings 
that I want to talk about are these amazements right here. And these are called the Bobano hoop earrings. And these are in the large. They also come in the smaller size. And I only got this, I got um, these hoops in the silver hardware. They are awesome. They're kind of tricky to put on. So this is the clasp in the back. And while the post is in the ear, you will need to be able to get this back under its um, hold, its closure, and pop it in. And so that can be a little tricky um, because you can't see what you're doing, but I mean, it's doable. I've worn these earrings already and absolutely <laughs> love them. I love them. So yeah, those are, that was four pairs of earrings. Those are my favorites in the jewelry collection. That whole Canto collection is just stunning. I highly suggest you check it out. It's, she's just a genius. <laughs> in the beauty category, I don't have, nothing stood out in fragrances. I didn't really actually wear much in the way of fragrance. But um, in makeup, I'm so excited to have things to talk about in the makeup category now. This is really cool. Um, so in my last video, you will have seen that one of my favorite um, favorites in the miscellaneous category was a memory, and that was learning how to apply a full face of makeup. And part of what inspired that, I knew that I'd wanted to learn how to do that anyway, but what pushed, what set, put me over the edge was finding highlighter. I've seen people with, um, you know, this, just like this gold, like this golden goddess glow. And, um, I bought, I didn't know what was doing that. And, um, somebody told me that it was a highlighter and I bought one and it was complete trash. It just made me look ashy. And then Fenty, Rihanna came out with the Fenty beauty line. I didn't know anything about it except for, um, it just kept popping up on my feed in YouTube. Um, and so I've, I watched many, many videos on Fenty Beauty and was really inspired by that collection to go ahead and move forward and learn how to do this, to apply makeup. And um, I was especially struck by the highlighters, um, and in particular the kilowatt highlighters, because they give that perfect, perfect glow. I love these. And so the first favorite it <clears throat> is this this highlighter. Um, there are things that's Fenty Beauty. And um, the my favorite of the two that I have is this one in the Ginger Binge and the Moscow Mule. It's almost, it's like a, on me, it's almost like a rose, rose gold coppery rose gold sheen oh it's so beautiful so this is the set and i don't know if this color is coming up true this side is the moscow mule that's the one that has the sheen that's the one that gives you the bling and this one is the ginger binge and i actually use that as i think blush i put it on the apples of my cheeks so i think i'm using that as blush and then i put the uh, moscow mule on top to get the pop. I love it. I love it. And then the other one that I have, the one that gives you that golden glow, is the one that seemed to be what everybody was going crazy over. And it's this one. This is Trophy Wife. And it's this golden, I mean, it is this gold, gold highlight. You do not need a lot because you will look like an Oscar trophy. So this is the, the trophy wife. Um, so I haven't used this as often, but I've I've worn the trophy wife on top of the Moscow Mule just a little bit to get a little bit of the golden sheen. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And then the next thing in the makeup category is a lip product, and it is by Iman. And I knew that she had a makeup line. I f I forgot. I mean, it was not in my radar, um, and it didn't occur to me when I. Uh, started learning. Um, and I actually found this in Target in uh, Pittsburgh while I was there. Uh, I have never seen it in any of the Targets that I go to here. And I thought maybe I'd missed it. And when I came back, I specifically went to the makeup section of one of my Targets and looked, went up and down the makeup aisles. And there 
is no, I didn't see it, the Iman. Um, and I guess that makes sense given, I guess, you know, products and stores reflect the demographics, but I found that to be a little disappointing. But anyway, my second favorite is this lip gloss. What do they call it? Luxury Lip Shimmer. And it is in the color Chocolate Diamond, which I would like to think of myself as. And this is it. I think it's really pretty. I just think it looks really pretty in the bottle. I love it. And I'll apply a little bit to show you what it looks like. It feels really good on the lip and I think it's just beautiful. And um, it does have a good amount of shimmer and not in a, like a strobe light way. I think it's very, very pretty. So yes, Chocolate Diamond, another favorite in the makeup category. Okay, so since there's nothing in hair care, we'll just go straight into food. And the first food favorite, I do have two, and the first food favorite is a bit naughty. Actually, it's a, a lot naughty. And I discovered these while I was in Pittsburgh and that they had it in the Target there. I love their Target. Their Target's awesome. Can you see? Caramel M&Ms. I mean, the audacity. How is anybody supposed to lose weight when there are caramel M&Ms in existence in the universe? These are really, really good. I would not say that I'm a huge M&Ms fan. I used to be as a kid, but as an adult, not really so much so. And ever since that I've discovered um, or been shown German chocolate, I just can't. Um, but these are delicious and um, one of the ways that I enjoy them is that I'll put them in a baggie and then I'll put the baggie between this is gonna sound crazy I'll put them between my legs to warm them so that it gets um, the caramel gets gooier and then I'll eat them they are so good I've actually been quite good um, most of these have been eaten by my colleagues which is awesome I have only had a few because I am back on the health wagon, but um, they are absolutely delicious. <laughs> and the next item in the food category is something that I enjoyed while on vacation at one of my favorite restaurants called Park Bruges in Pittsburgh. And it is moule frites, um, so mussels with fries, and they are delicious. They have they have two restaurants. There's a Point Bruges and a Park Bruges, and each of the two has a little different take on the moule frite, but on both menus is the white wine, the classic white wine, mussels with fries. Oh my gosh, it's a Belgian restaurant. <sighs> so good. My husband and I went there for dinner one night, and I got them then, and then I actually, my husband was um, we'd been out all day and he was tired and so I went back to Park Bruges by myself um, and had a glass of wine and a bowl of moule frites and it was so good. They're so good. I will include a picture. Oh my gosh, I dream about them. They're so good. I used to live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and I I used to be hesitant to talk about how wonderful that city is because I was afraid that everybody would move there and sometimes I fancy moving back there myself and um, I don't want it to get too big. It's such a lovely city. But then I thought to myself, nobody is going to move to Pittsburgh on your recommendation, so calm down, Dita. <laughs> and so I'm gonna talk about Pittsburgh. So in the miscellaneous category, my favorite there is seeing the Pittsburgh skyline for the first time in, I don't know how many years, eight or nine years. The Pittsburgh skyline to me is, if not in the world, certainly in the US, my absolute favorite skyline. It is beautiful and I will include pictures of it because I took a lot and my husband took a lot too. I've been talking about Pittsburgh and the Pittsburgh skyline for years, um, basically since I met him and um, I was so pleased that he agreed because it's just beautiful. Um, yeah, so that was a favorite, just getting to see that skyline again. 
And so, okay, so we're in the memories category. And the first m favorite memory is one of the reasons that we went to Pittsburgh was a very dear friend got married and this person, this person is one of the sweetest men I think in existence. Um, I have known him since I lived there. I think I've, I mean, it mu I think it's probably about 12 years I've known him, 11 or 12 years. And he is just lovely as they come. And to see the smile on his face, that's probably the favorite part of this favorite memory. His smile, he was beaming from ear to ear. It was just so heartwarming. I couldn't get over how happy I was for him and for them. So uh, it just, I have that smile burnished into my heart and into my eyes. I just, uh, I just loved it. So that was a, that was a really special memory for me this month. And then the second memory that was just being back in Pittsburgh in general and showing it to my husband and him also loving it. He really loved it and that made me really happy. Um, it is just a spectacular city. Um, there is a lot of, you know, it was, this, it was the steel city, so there was a lot, a lot of money out there. The Carnegie's, Heinz, Fritz, um, Warhol's from there. And so the art scene, which is my bag, is incredible. Um, we went to the Warhol Museum and Falling Water, which is um, Frank Lloyd Wright's probably most famous architectural masterpiece. And I that place never gets old. I, that was my fourth visit there. And I was just as awestruck the fourth time as I was the first time. And um, the, the food scene is incredible. Um, but I think my favorite thing about Pittsburgh is the people. I love Pittsburghers. And that PC yins that I say at the end, yins, that's actually, um, I picked that up um, while living there. That is a, yins is akin to y'all in parts of the South. So, and so sometimes Pittsburghers are lovingly um, referred to as yinzers. But the people are just, they're just lovely. You know, it's got the amenities of an East Coast city, but because it's Western Pennsylvania, it's got the um, sensibility and the personality, or the people have the sensibility and personalities of Midwesterners who are notoriously lovely, just so sweet. And um, yeah, so just, being there again and realizing that hold Pittsburgh on such a pedestal was just, it was wonderful. I was very, very sad to leave and I want to go back. <laughs> I want to live there. <laughs> anyway, so that was the second memory, Pittsburgh. So awesome. So that is it for my October favorites. I hope that was interesting to you guys. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't ramble too much, but I probably did because I always ramble. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and thank you to everybody who is, has supported my channel, to my old and new subscribers. I'm really appreciative. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know um, if you have any thoughts or comments and I, um, I read every one right now because I don't get that many. So I'm able to read all of them and respond to all of them and I just really enjoy doing that. So. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. The weather is beautiful. It is, oh, the leaves are incredible and the sun has been out and it's 70, like 74 degrees or something mid seventies. It is just incredible. Blue sky, couldn't ask for better. So I might go play in that a little bit. Exciting. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace -ins.